Hello! In this video, I will be installing the MJ35 housing into this carbon fiber hull. I will be installing the pump from the rear side. I call this the rear installation. And the advantage of this setup is that the thrust from the pump pushes directly onto the stern of the boat. Imagine if you had the pump inside and the only thing holding the pump uh, from going like this is the glue. But in this case, there is a big lip around the pump and this whole lip is in contact with the stern of the boat, pushing the boat forward, putting no stress on the glue whatsoever. I will start by masking the boat with some paper tape. Now I will mark the cuts on the hull uh, with the help of my paper template where I mark the dimensions which I need. Usually the easiest way for me to start is with the center line. Okay, so we have our first lines finished. I will cut the bottom part at first. I have not finished drawing the rear part yet because the top lines need to be measured from the inner surface of the hull. So now I will just cut the bottom and then we will see. So the next thing I need to do is to cut these lines a little bit to access this part. Okay, so now what we need to do is to send this part down, this lip, we need to send it down to match it with the inner surface of the hull. And now you can see that this part, that this is, this is all lined up. So now we will use this edge to measure the cuts in the top part. Okay, so now I can cut the top part off. So now all the basic cuts are done and now I will need to send the hull until the pump will fit perfectly. So now that the pump slides in nicely, I will also have to make some little modifications and sending to the pump itself because of this slope. So I will send this corner to fit the hull better. Okay, so I was a little bit inaccurate in the cutting and this gap is a little bit too big but other than that the pump sits really well in the, in the hull and I think I, I can glue it like this. And the last thing we need to do before gluing it is to drill this hole for the steering rod in the hull. I really screwed up on this one. I made it way too big because somehow the drill wasn't in the center, but it will work. So now we have the cut completely ready for the pump to be installed. I would also like to protect this seal from glue getting into it from this side. For it I will cut small circle from the paper tape and glue it here. After I glue the pump inside I can just drill through the paper tape and the seal will be untouched. This is good. So let's start with the glue. At first I will apply it on this lip. Okay. 
Okay, so let's do it. And of course the glue will start flowing everywhere, but it doesn't matter because I can get rid of it later. Using the clamps was a little bit difficult because of the flat chamber being in the hull. So the epoxy has cured, so I will remove the clamps and I will apply another layer of epoxy from the inside of the hull. Everything is nicely glued in place. I think this pump won't move. And now my next step with the glue is to apply it a little bit right here to make the surfaces smoother. So now all the epoxy is cured and now I need to very carefully take a drill and cut away the paper tape. And I will also check if the steering shaft fits properly. So as you can see it has some space to move freely and this is correct perfect I will finish the installation by doing some small sanding to the edges around the pump to make uh, the glue smooth. So that's it. The installation is finished and I have already installed all the electronics into the boat. This means the test run will be coming really soon. What I can already tell is that the boat will need some strikes, so more work is necessary, but we are getting really close to get this beast running. I'm really looking forward to that and I will definitely show everything on YouTube. Thanks for watching, see you soon.